hello everyone welcome back here in this new video tutorial in microsoft excel today we are going to learn how to use these nine functions in excel these are related with the sum or totaling of the values the functions we are going to learn are sum sum if sum ifs sum product d sum sum sq sum x square m y square sum x square p y square and sum x m y square so let's go to the first function that is the sum function it is a very simple and a basic function in excel this sum function is used for adding the number in a range here i have some item name their quantity sold in different months and in the h column i need to calculate the total so here i can use the sum function by pressing equal to then type sum sum bracket open then select the range of data then close bracket press enter now go here in the fill handle then drag this down and you see the total is calculated similarly here if you want to calculate the total of february and may only you can press equals sum bracket open click on the february sales give a comma then click on the may month sale close bracket press enter go here in the fill handle then drag this down here you see the total for february and may is calculated so this is the use of simple sum function let's go to another function that is the sum if the sum if function in excel is used for adding the values in sale specified by a condition so sum if is the conditional totaling function here i have a data of different customer the product name and quantity sold in different dates and my requirement here is to calculate the total quantity sold of rice cooker so in this case i can use the sum if function because i have a condition for totaling the value wherever there is rice cooker i need to add the quantity sold so this we can do by using the sum if function so here i am going to use the sum if press equals then type sum if open bracket in the range we have to select the criteria range of the source table that is the product name range so select this from the top to bottom then give a comma in the criteria we have to give our criteria here our criteria is rice cooker so here we have to write rice cooker inside double quotations while writing the text value inside formula we need to always put the double quotation before and after the text value so here type double quotes then type here rice cooker this is the condition now give a comma and in the sum range select the quantity sold range from top to bottom close bracket press enter now here you get the result of 101 this is the total quantity sold of rice cooker and here in the summary formula in this criteria you can also give the sale link suppose that if your criteria is written here in this sale then you can double click on the formula remove the rice cooker from here then in the criteria you can simply click on the sale which has the criteria now press enter and you will get the same result now let's go to the another function that is sum ifs and the sum ifs function is used for adding the values in a cell specified by two or more condition or the multiple condition here my requirement is to calculate the total quantity sold of rice cooker that is sold by abc enterprises so here i have two condition one condition is the rice cooker from the product name column and another condition is the abc enterprises from the customer name column in this case i have more than one condition so i need to use the sum ifs function to get the total so here i am going to write my conditions these are rice cooker this is the product condition and abc enterprises this is my second condition or the customer name condition and here i am going to calculate the total quantity sold equal to then type sum ifs function open bracket 
in the sum if function we have to first give the sum range or the value to be added range which is the quantity sold range select it from top to bottom give a comma in the criteria range 1 now we have to select the first criteria range of the source table that is the product name so select the product name range give a comma now here in the criteria 1 we have to click on the cell which highs the criteria so click on this rice cooker then give a comma now in the criteria range 2 we have to select the customer name range of the source table comma and in the criteria 2 we have to select the customer name that is given here in this cell now close the bracket and press enter and here you see this is the total quantity sold of rice cooker that is sold by ABC Enterprises. So this is the use of some ifs function. Now let's go to the another one that is the sum product. The sum product function is used for getting the sum of the products of corresponding range. It means that if you have multiple range and your requirement is to multiply every single values of the corresponding range then add all the results of the multiplication then you can use the sum product function here i have some item name their unit price and the quantity sold in different month my requirement here is to calculate the sales value of every single month by multiplying the unit price with the quantity plus the second unit price with the quantity in this case i can use the sum product function so here press equal to type the sum product open bracket in the array one select the unit price range then lock this range by pressing f4 key in the keyboard give a comma and in the array two select the quantity range of the january now close bracket press enter here you see the total sales value is calculated go here in the fill handle then drag this to the right and here you see all the sales value are calculated by multiplying every single quantity with the unit price then adding the result of the every single multiplication now let's go to another function that is the d sum function d sum function is a function that is used for adding the number from a field of database based on the condition defined here i have a data of sales my requirement here is to calculate the total quantity sold in the town Kathmandu. so this is my condition town and the city and the quantity sold i need to calculate here for this i can use the d sum function press equals then type d sum open bracket in the database we have to select the whole data then give a comma in the field we have to select the column from which we want the total here i have the quantity sold given here so click on it then give a comma and in the criteria we have to select the town and the name of the town these two cells now close bracket and press enter and this is the total quantity sold of Kathmandu city if you want more city here you can type here another city now if you go to the formula double click then expand the criteria by dragging this down now you will get the total for these two cities so this is the use of d sum function now let's go to another function that is the sum sq and this sum sq function is used for calculating the sum of the square of numbers for example here i have some numbers these are the x variables and my requirement is to calculate the total of the square of every number here i can use this sum sq function then select the x variable range close bracket press enter this is the square total of all these numbers now let's go to another function that is sum x square minus m square here i have the x variable and y variables here i need to calculate the total of the x square minus y square values then i can press equal to then type sum x square minus y square choose this function 
in the array x select the x variable range give a comma in the array y select the y variable range now close the bracket then press enter this is the total of the difference of square of these two range let's go to another function that is sum x square plus y square here i need to calculate the sum total of x square plus y square value in this case i can use this function press equal to then type sum x square plus y square function then in the array x select this range comma in the array y select this range close bracket press enter and here you see this is the total of sum of square of two range now let's go to another function that is sum x minus y square and to calculate the difference between the square of these two range we can use this function this function will first square these variables then it will calculate the difference of the square then it will add the difference of the square so here press equal to then type this sum s m y2 function sum x m y2 choose this function then in the array x take this range comma in the array y take this range then close bracket press enter here you see this is the sum of the square of difference of x and y variables so this is all about these nine functions relating with sum in microsoft excel this much for today's video thank you very much for watching we will again meet on next video tutorial